you don't Can I jump on what you said there, if that's okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Because I hear, I hear that sentence so much, and that's probably one of the other things that bothers me. So many people oh. say, everyone would be better off without me. You know, I'm a problem. I'm a burden. My, you know, my partner, my children, my family, my friends, my boss, they'd all be better off without me. All I am is a problem. And that is so untrue. And I think what sticks with me is that I've spoken, you know, over 14-ish years, I've spoken to a lot of people that are suicidal and I hear that so often. But on the flip side, I've spoken to a lot of people that have lost somebody from suicide, that have been bereaved by suicide. And not a single person that I've spoken to on that side of the coin has ever said, gee, I'm glad mum killed herself or, you know, life's so much easier now that my daughter's dead. You know, nobody mm -hmm. has ever said that. They were all left with questions and pain and wanting to know if they could have done anything, mm. you know, and just a, a lifetime of, of just wondering and what ifs and looking back and, and you know, constantly analysing. And then those thoughts entering their own minds, you know, if it was, if she couldn't cope, you know, how could I possibly? And that, that you know, everyone's better off without me is something I really want to push back on. Yeah. Because it's such an easy thing to think, you know, somebody does a big sigh or they're like, oh, my God, you're too much today or whatever. You know, it's easy to, to get into that mindset, but it's so untrue. You're right. It is untrue. And, you know, now being where I am today, I can totally see that it's very untrue. But when you're in that place, I don't know, it's hard to to, to say that it's that that's not true. Mm. Yeah, uh, it, it, feels, it feels, feels real to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do like what you shared that no one is immune. And that's actually something that is really branded in my head too from my training. Because uh, mm. the teacher also told us that, that no one is immune. And they actually, it was also someone who was also at the training uh, uh, who shared a story, you know, that she heard uh, someone who was a volunteer at the suicide line actually committing suicide mm -hmm. himself. And, you know, the teacher responded on that, 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 yeah, no one is immune. You can have all the knowledge about it. <sighs> yeah, life still hits you sometimes so hard that you don't know how to handle it. So really, no one is immune. Yeah. Um, yeah. This... Thank you for sharing that. I'm... <laughs> I'm... It sounds like it was a very heavy experience here that you went through. But also yeah, that... it's, I mean, it's a... Uh... It's it Brandon. It's Brandon in my head, because <laughs> I was. I mean, everyone in the group was so surprised by that story. Mm. Uh, but it again highlights that we're all humans. Uh, no one is immune, and life is. Yeah, life can throw so many things at us that are so hard to deal with. 